Hello there, greetings in Jesus' name. This is Sule Emmanuel. Welcome to Jesus Every Day, light for your daily path. This is episode 669, and our topic today is higher thoughts, higher thoughts, and this is part two. Our Bible reference is taken from God's word in Romans chapter 8, verse 28. Friends, God is interested in how we see things because how we see situations reveals how we see our God. For example, two marriages can face similar challenges. One goes down and the other pulls through. A major factor for these outcomes of the couple may be how they see. Two individuals are faced with similar academic challenges one is able to pull through and another believes that the situation is hopeless a significant factor for their outcome is how they see two individuals see a goliath one runs to hide the other declares this giant must go down a differentiator between both of them is how they see two sets of people go to spy the promised land one comes back with a depressing and negative report and the other comes back saying the land is amazing we must get it the difference between these two people is how they see god cares about how you see and how you think nothing is impossible or beyond your reach if you can see how god sees as we continue to open our hearts to God's word, it will progressively transform how we see things, how we see challenges, how we see opportunities, how we see circumstances. Don't only read the Bible or listen to powerful sermons. Ensure that your heart is open to God's word and you accept what God is saying as your truth. When you make this a habit it transforms how you see things you begin to see the same way god sees here is our task for today take some time to meditate on god's word in first peter chapter 2 verse 2 take some time to meditate on god's word in first peter chapter 2 please pay close attention to the wisdom push for today and our declaration for today make sure you declare it upon yourself in the name of jesus and also our daily bible reading the day meditation and the night meditation god bless you have a very productive day in jesus precious name Hi there. The most beautiful and profitable decision a person can make is the decision to allow Jesus lead their lives. This decision is what we make when we open our hearts to Jesus. We don't just give him our lives. We receive his life. Maybe as you hear me right now, you have not made this beautiful decision yet. You haven't said yes to Jesus. Today is an amazing day to do this. You will not regret it. A new chapter will be opened in your life from this decision. Just say these words after me. Dear Father, I come to you today. I recognize you are a good father. Thank you for loving me in spite of everything. Today, I respond to your love. I receive your life. And I ask that you become King and Lord of my heart. From today, I will serve and live for you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Congratulations, you have made the most important decision of your life. Now, if you need help to grow in your relationship with Jesus, please send an email to the address on the screen, and we will be more than happy to assist you. God bless you. Have a great day, Father.